if you believe that the United States has the right to declare a threat to its national interest, any place on earth, like they did in Yugoslavia, in Iraq, in Libya, in Syria, 10,000 miles across the Atlantic Ocean, and they have the right to do so. Have you been interested uh, during these years uh, what is going on in Iraq, what is going on in Afghanistan? Have you been asking the United States and NATO whether they are, uh, whether they are uh, certain of what they are doing? When, when are they uh, now, uh, Scholz, uh, um, Baerbock, uh, Macron and others say, this is the first time when the OSC Helsinki Final Act is being violated. They don't remember about 1999 when Serbia was bombed, when, when uh, Joe Biden, Joe Biden uh, being a senator at that time, uh, he was bragging that I, one year before the uh, bombing of Serbia, I uh, promoted this approach, and I believe that we have to bomb them out into peace. Uh, when when uh, Iraq was ruined as a state, uh, after Colin Powell showed a vial with some powder, and then a few years later Tony Blair said, yes, it was a mistake, what to do? No, but that is a lesson uh, which we should second, learn. Wait a second, you, if you believe that the United States has the right to declare a threat to its national interest any place on earth, like they did in Yugoslavia, in Iraq, in Libya, in Syria, 10,000 miles across the Atlantic Ocean, and they have the right to do so, and you don't ask them any questions. And Russia, not just overnight, like they did in Iraq and uh, elsewhere, but for more than 10 years, warning them, guys, you are doing something which is going to be very bad. But I think and the question not, has not, been asked. One second, one second. Not across the ocean, but just on our borders, on the territories where the Russians lived for centuries and centuries and centuries. So if it is not a double standard, then uh, I am not a minister. No. that Zelensky, everybody is asking when Russia is ready to negotiate, when Russia is ready to negotiate. The West continuously is saying that it is not time to negotiate yet because Ukraine must win in the battlefield before any negotiations. And Zelensky himself, uh, nobody calls on Zelensky asking him when he is going to negotiate, but you should have known, preparing for this topic at this meeting, that in September last year, Zelensky signed a decree making it a criminal offense to negotiate with Russia as long as Putin is president. So can you, can you address this issue? Can you invite him and uh, ask him what he is doing? Mm -hmm.